Deadpool is directed by Tim Miller and stars Ryan Reynolds as the merc with a mouth, Deadpool, aka Wade Wilson. Now this movie needs no introduction and we all know it has gone through development hell in terms of getting it made, getting it funded, getting it approved, getting it green lit. We all know the origin story of this film. Some test footage leaked out a couple of years ago of Ryan Reynolds doing motion capture for a scene from Deadpool from the script and it leaked out, it got out, the fans went nuts, we all went nuts. The studios had no choice but to greenlight this film. So if anything, this film is for the fans, by the fans. Now first off, I just want to state that I'm not a Deadpool aficionado. I'm familiar with the mythology and the background of the character, its origin story. I'm a fan of the character. I love the humor of the character. I love the breaking of the fourth wall, but in no means am I a Deadpool aficionado, fanatic, professional, you name it. You guys out there who are the Deadpool professionals, I'd love to hear your input after this review and after seeing the film. So we all know the origin story of Deadpool. Wade Wilson is a mercenary hitman for hire, you name it. He is then diagnosed with a terminal cancer. He is then given the opportunity to get fixed. He is offered to undergo experimental mutation of his cells, which will in turn turn him into a mutant, curing his cancer and giving him the ability to heal. In other words, never die. Unless you cut his head off. And it's no lie, he is severely disfigured under that red suit and we see in the film where it all goes wrong and what happens with that experimentation that leaves him horribly scarred. And this film is also a love story, it has a lot of heart, it tugged at the heartstrings. And of course, the girl gets captured, so the bad guy's gotta pay and the superhero's gotta save the day. Now guys, first off, I am more than happy and proud to say that I loved each and every moment of this film. So much so, and obviously people will disagree, and I look forward to hearing that, but I can't fault this film. The idea of watching a movie is to take you away from your reality, is to take you to another world, put you in another character's shoes. In this case, it did all the above. It ticked all the boxes, the pacing, the editing, the special effects, the practical effects. Everything was just beautiful. That's all I can say. It was just, it was just perfect. It was the Deadpool movie that we wanted, that we very much deserved. And it's safe to say we got very, very spoiled. Now, firstly, I want to talk about the editing because the editing was so interesting. Obviously, this is an origin story. We're going to see how Wade Wilson, the mercenary, becomes disfigured after this experimentation, makes the red suit and eventually becomes the pool of death. And so much so you think it's going to be, okay, they're going to start from the beginning and then end up with the climax at the end. But the editing is done in such a brilliant way that there's no boredom whatsoever because you know what's coming next. So yeah, well done to the editor because I love the fact that they didn't follow a simple template. They just kind of went out their own way and it worked. Now the pacing is film is non-stop. It just goes, goes, goes. You're left exhausted by the end of it. But to the point where you kind of want to light a cigarette afterwards. <laughs> was it as good for you as it was for me? Secondly, the violence. We all know Deadpool is centered around A, his humor, and B, the violence. The violence has to be there. You can't sugarcoat it, you can't pussyfoot it, you can't tiptoe around it. It's one of those things where it's either there, if it's not, don't bother. <laughs> oh my god, it was so gory, bloody, but it was done in such a stylistic way that you laughed. Seriously, some dude loses his head in this film and you're like, fuck. And it's funny, the whole time this violence is unwinding on screen, I'm like, this is awesome. And in the back of my head, I've got the Marvel logo that plays at the beginning of the movie. I'm like, this ain't no Avengers, this ain't no Thor, this ain't no Captain fucking America. So yeah, they didn't sugarcoat it with the violence, didn't tiptoe around it. It was there, it was the way we wanted it. But my God, is it violent. And it's awesome. Now we all know Deadpool is known for the violence, but of course he's known for his sense of humor and his ability to break the fourth wall. And to be honest, when they announced that this movie was finally green lit and I saw the trailers and they were funny, the trailers were very funny, but I was hoping the humor wasn't just going to be pushed in your face the whole time to the point that you just get over it and then you eventually get over the whole film and you don't enjoy the experience. But I have genuinely never laughed so hard 
at a film in a long time. Like I said, this film took me out of my world, which is what a film is supposed to do, a good film is supposed to do. But the fact that I was laughing from my belly just meant so much more. There are toilet jokes, there are fart jokes, there are sex jokes, dildo jokes, everything. It's my type of humor, to be honest. I'm very immature, so this humor catered perfectly to me. And to be honest, we had a good bunch in the cinema. You know, they weren't a bunch of stiffs. Everyone was relaxed, everyone was laughing, having a good time. There were people dressed up as Deadpool. I mean, this is Australia. This is where cosplay is starting to, you know, come up on the rise, but not to the point where you dress up and go to the movie. Star Wars is an exception, but with Deadpool, I didn't think we'd see anyone dressed up. And to my surprise, there were people dressed up in the cinema and it was cool to see. It just made the experience so much better when something funny happened. The whole audience roared with laughter and I was roaring along with them. Like I said, I was laughing from my belly. That is genuine laughter. That is what I wanted. So honestly, one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time in that respect. Okay, I want to talk about the character of Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Yes, they are part of the X-Men and to be honest, I thought they were going to be shoehorned into this and I thought, okay, we just got to get some more characters in here. But you know what? They served a purpose. They meshed well with Deadpool. Colossus is very, very funny. Him and Deadpool are at complete opposites in terms of personality, and I love that. They clash, and that's what you want. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. She's exactly what a teenager should be. She played it well. Well done. Now, while we're on the topic of Colossus, let's talk about the CGI and visual effects in this film, because too much CGI can make or break a film. This CGI was blended perfectly into this film and it was used at a bare minimum. Obviously there are some shots that call for all over CGI in terms of background, settings, you name it. But in this case, there was hardly any CGI Deadpool. Obviously in the case where an insurance company wouldn't even let Chuck Norris do the stunt, they've got to use a CGI Deadpool. But even Colossus, Colossus looked beautiful on film, blended well with the background, the lighting, the way he moved with the actual actors, it just felt natural. The way his mouth moved, his facial expressions, yes, he's a giant metal man, but it looked like what a giant metal man would look like in real life. So again, it just brings this film up another notch. The visual effects weren't smooshed in your face, they were needed only when necessary, and they blended in well with the practical. Now, like I said, this is a love story, but it's not to the point where you roll your eyes, and you know what? It's nice to see a character that wears a mask. Majority of the film have a heart, have a personality, and have feelings. Having themes like that in the film just breaks down the whole wall of the typical one-dimensional character that wears a mask. And to me, it was a really good touch. And like I said, it wasn't forced down your throat. It was done in a way where it meshed well into the rest of the film and the rest of the characters. Which brings me to my next point. Ryan Reynolds' performance as Wade Wilson and Deadpool. And I've stated this before. Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool and Wade Wilson. There is just so much of Ryan Reynolds in these two alter egos that it's uncanny. The likeness is ridiculous. And of course, it's noted in the comics that when he's asked what he looks like under that mask, it's a cross between a Sharpe and Ryan Reynolds. So there you go. But it honestly looked like Ryan Reynolds was having a ball doing this. It, it just must have been like going to Disneyland every day filming that movie. And this brings me on to my next topic, the look of the suit, the Deadpool suit. In my humble opinion, that is probably the most perfect representation of a comic book character jumping from a comic book page onto the celluloid screen. Nothing was overly changed, there was no bullshit about it. It was practical, it served a purpose, it looked great on screen, the colors were just brilliant. I love the very subtle use of CGI around his eyes just to emote certain expressions so you know what's going on inside that mask. Now I should have mentioned this before with the humor side, the breaking of the fourth wall by Deadpool because that's what he's also known for. I mean, let's not kid ourselves, he's known for that. We know that this is gonna happen in the film. It's been stated that Deadpool will be breaking the fourth wall well, and he does, and it's done in a way that's clever, brilliant, funny, and just made me just giggle like a schoolgirl. Now guys, I know it seems like I'm gushing and talking up this film, and honestly, I can't find fault with it. It was just genuine fun at the movies. And it was good to see a Marvel logo associated with something that, you know what, pretty much did this. Because let's face it, it's Deadpool. With Deadpool, there comes violence, there comes crude humor, there comes breaking the fourth wall, a lot of swearing, sex, hookers, blood, spit, ass, flying everywhere. And this film had 
all of it. It was just perfect. Like I said, it's the Deadpool movie that we deserve, that we asked for, and we got it. They delivered, guys. So with that, I'm giving Deadpool 5 geeks out of 5. And actually, this morning they just announced they are making a Deadpool sequel, and damn well they should be, because they have started something beautiful. Deadpool, please, when you see it, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you disagree with anything I said, please leave a comment. I'd like to know what you thought. If it wasn't the Deadpool you were asking for, if it was, that is friggin' awesome. As always, thank you very much for your continuing support and watching. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.